Hi, this is Dr. Eiko Holman. Today's topic is common blocks to answered prayers. And I have observed in many occasions, including my own, the, the things that would hinder me to truly believe in God's promises in the Bible. Now, as you know, God is faithful to fulfill His promises and he said he's watching over his own word to perform it. But our uh, belief system is, you know, if we see it, we believe it. That's the kind of attitude we have been brought up with. And God's principle is you believe first and then you will see it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about faith evidence, which is based on the word of God and sense evidence. Our senses will tell you whether you're healed or not, and whether you're prospering, or whether your uh, relationship is improving or not. And so typical occasion is uh, physical healing. Let's say you have symptoms, you have pain in your body, and you've been prayed for, and you believe that you have received healing, but you need to know the distinction between the faith evidence, which is based on the Word of God and His promises, and how Jesus died to provide the healing for us. And it's already done, done deal. But your sense evidence in your body, I mean, for your example, it could be your finances, it could be your uh, relationships and so on, is still telling you that you're not healed. And some people would tell you, you need to continue to say, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. But then the enemy will tell you, no, you are not, no, you are not. And, uh, and point out to your symptoms, your uh, pain and so on. And then some people even argue with me, I'm just telling you the facts. And so factual evidence is still real. If you have symptoms, if you have what the doctor says, and if you have pain, that's real. So you're not going to pretend that pain is not real, like some mind science people tell you. No, if your pain and the symptoms in your body are uh, not real, well, then Jesus died in vain. And so we're not uh, uh, trying to pretend that we are healed or symptoms are gone. No, no, it's real. But we need to know the higher dimension of authority in the Word of God. And that's the reason I need to show you the diagram of heavenly perspective and how we enter into the heavenlies. That's where our spirit person is, even though your physical body is on this earth. That's obvious. And you have pain, you have symptoms, and so on. Your bank account is low or you have strife with your loved ones, so you know, whatever those uh, earthly conditions are. But you need to know the heavenly perspective and the, the reality of the heavenly position is a different kind of order. It is a different dimension. And the higher dimension yet you are in the spirit realm, you have the power and authority over the lower dimension. Okay, and so Psalm 33 verse 6 tells us all the things that by the word of the Lord are the heavens made and all the uh, things uh, were, were therein by the breath of His word. So that means the word of God and the breath of the Holy Spirit, that's a Ruach HaKodesh, that's the Holy Spirit, together with the Heavenly Father's will produce all of the created uh, realm of the reality, both visible and invisible. So that's a higher dimension, which always has dominion over the lower dimension. So you need to know the difference between causal realm, which is a spirit realm, that's where everything originated, and then the effect realm in the earthly realm, where we live, the three-dimensional and, uh, you know, we, we have physical uh, evidence and uh, whether we are free from pain or certain symptoms or not and all that. 
And so once you understand the distinction between faith evidence, which is on the spirit realm and the Word of God, but sense evidence that will tell you whether you have the symptoms or it, symptoms are all gone. Well, if the pain is gone, all the symptoms are all gone, then you don't need faith, right? So the only time you really need to adhere to the faith evidence versus the sense evidence is between the time you pray and the time you actually get the re manifestation of the sense evidence and, and you know, symptoms are gone and so on. Okay, so I need for you to understand how God's Word works. Romans 4.17 tells us that God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were. That's the way God operates. And He calls those things which be not there, although as if they were. And uh, uh, Ephesians 5.1 tells us, you, God's children, be ye imitators of God. Okay, so if you know your children of God, and you, you need to imitate God, meaning if God calls those things which be not as though they were, then we are supposed to imitate that by saying, I call my body healed. I call my eyes healed, I, you know, to be more specific. I call my lungs healed. I call my uh, uh, pancreas healed. Uh, I call my ears healed, and so on, to be more specific. Or if you have uh, uh, certain symptoms, I call the pain and the cause of pain gone. Okay, even though you still have symptoms. The, that's the reason calling those things which be not as though they were is important. And so instead of saying, I'm healed, I'm he healed, and healed, in spite of the uh, symptoms, then the enemy will say, no, you are not, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. And so you, you, you get the double-mindedness. And the book of James, chapter 1, verses 6 to verse 8, it says, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, and you receive nothing from the Lord. Okay? Big fat zero. If you're double-minded, meaning you're going back and forth, uh, Today I feel symptoms, and, and next moment I really believe in the Word of God, and so I'm adhering to the faith evidence based on the Word of God, even though I still have symptoms. But if you uh, say, I'm healed when you have symptoms, then you feel like you're lying, and then enemy will accuse you of lying. But if you say, according to the Word of God, Romans 4, 17, I call my body healed, I call my ears healed, I call my pancreas healed, and so on. I'm, I'm just using examples. And then I call pain and a cause of pain gone, okay? Then the enemy cannot argue with you. And this is a very important point I'm mentioning. And so that, remember, if you're adhering to the higher level of authority in the throne room, which is higher dimension, which has dominion over the lower dimension. And so you may not get the instant results, but remember Jesus said, according to your faith, be it unto you. And so depending on your faith, sometimes, you know, instant results without any waiting period whatsoever. But if you do have waiting period from the time you prayed and from the time the symptoms are gone, then that's when you really adhere to the truth of the Word of God. So the truth in the earthly realm is factual information. And what the doctor says is factual. And you're not arguing it. You're not pretending that they're not real. They are real. But you choose to adhere to the higher authority and higher dimension of reality. And uh, I'm repeating myself, but this is so important. And once you get the distinction between the causal realm 
and the effectum, then you will have the, that period between the time you prayed and, and the actual the symptoms are gone, and you will receive the results of the faith evidence. And then faith evidence will become sense evidence. Okay, did you get this? And this is very, very important. And if you understand this and adhere to it, and I know in my own case, I had to fight that and, uh, and uh, adhering and actually speaking. It is written, the word of God says such and such. And that's a high authority and God is watching over his own word to perform it. And so you will receive the results and manifestation of your faith. Amen. God bless you. And I w would like you to uh, report back to me, okay? And there are many, many uh, CDs and uh, DVDs available and related to this subject. And so faith evidence versus, you know, uh, sense evidence. Okay, God bless you.